Good morning. Today is Saturday, December 7th, 2019. This marks one year that we've been doing keto. Yes. Um, we have both been sick for the last two to three weeks here. <clears throat> we are finally on some antibiotics. Um, it has not helped yet. We're both getting feeling there. horrible. <laughs> uh, steroids, um, all kinds of weird things that we got going on. Yeah. We both have a little bit of, he's got still a voice, I've got some voice, most of my voice back, but still a little bit of rough um, patches there. Yeah, um, this is not quite how I envisioned our one year mark going. Uh, yeah. I had all kinds of plans and ideas of wanting to mix in some old video. Of course, our pictures will come up at the end of this video and whatnot to show comparisons. But I was kind of hoping to have a little more energy and ability to get some other things done to make this more of a special one year mark. And I'll be honest, we've just been sleeping and trying to feel better and get better and get our voices. We get them back for like a half a day and then we lose them again. So hopefully the audio isn't so horrible on this. I might notch it up 20%. So. Wow, we but sound great. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Well, let's get into it real quick. Um, last week, where was I? 336.4? Yeah. And then today I was 337.8, so I was up 1.4. I don't know. I'm still doing my keto stuff. I've not been on the bike and doing that stuff. I've just been basically just trying to exist. <laughs> I feel horrible. It's been rough. I think uh, we're going to try for yeah. next week um, for a redo on our one year. It's, it's, it's been really rough. Yeah, so a year ago I was 382.6. And uh, today I'm 337.8, and I believe that's 44.8 pounds in that year here that I've lost. Yeah. I've actually been a little lower than that previous to the, all this. Had some issues with medicines and things of that nature. I haven't gone off keto, and I haven't goofed around, and just trying to figure out what my body needs. So I'm working on it. <laughs> and where are you at, Stace? Um, when I started, <clears throat> excuse me, I was 180.2 on December 1st, 2018. And this morning I weighed in at 136.4. I'm actually up um, from last week I was 134.6. And this week 136.4. So I'm <laughs> up about a pound and uh, almost two pounds uh, with all the steroids. And you sure medicines. you're not dyslexic? You can just mix the numbers around? 4.6 to 6.4? I'm joking. 134.6 to 136.4. Oh. <laughs> We're a little slow. We're not sleeping well. <clears throat> I was joking with you. Yeah, so she's up 1.8 from last week. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, I don't know. You haven't done anything different either, are you? No, I haven't you're either. I'm on the steroids. I'm on pretty strong steroids with the bronchitis. And my asthma is just aggravating the bejeebers out of the... Uh, Lungs and, uh, but I have a voice back last week. I didn't have a voice at all. Um, I barely had a whisper. And at least I have a voice and you can hear me this week. Um, so we're on the mend. I think uh, maybe next week we're going to try for a do-over for our one year. <laughs> I think that sounds like a really good idea. <clears throat> I'm going to kick both of this. <laughs> I'll be honest. We've, we've done one every week and there were one or two weeks where we were traveling or something was going on where we were a day late. Uh, I think we even did one a day early because we knew the next day yeah. we were going to be gone. But, um, you know, things happen, but we, we have stuck with it every week. And with the ups and the downs, thanks for hanging out with us. And, uh, you know, I know it can be frustrating sometimes, you know, not getting where I want to get to. Yeah. But uh, but we're just sharing that with everybody. A year ago, we didn't even know where we would be. We started it and said, well, let's just do this for our own little documentation. We didn't yeah. even have any followers or subscribers or anything we just thought well it'd be kind of fun to look back on same with making your pizza video that's right. at 140,000 views right now um, yeah you know we we did that honestly so that we could go back to it and remember how to do it off the sheet and then and now that's a staple every week you're making pizzas I'm making you know? them tonight and you're making them again tonight and she's actually making them for other people too <laughs> so you work with a couple of people that you're making some for work too absolutely so yeah <clears throat> So what else we got on here? Uh, where's our uh, inches? Because we did measurements. Did we all stay the same? We're, we're, we're pretty much we're right. We're even. Uh, BMIs are 
um, slightly up. Uh, we start at Bill's BMI on the very first day was 44.2, and today is... Um, 38? 38.9. Okay. Well, so I'll take a lower number like yeah, that. it's down 5.3, so that's pretty good. And uh, <coughs> I started, my BMI was at 30, and now I'm at 22.7. <clears throat> Which is down seven point three on the BMI scale. Yeah. So I'm in the I'm in the middle of the normal range now. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, we should <laughs> say too that uh, we've been doing blood work and um, all of our normal like cholesterol and things like that. And mine have been terrific compared to where I was a year ago. Compared to where I was for the last nine years, to be honest with you, um, I was having sugars in the three to four hundreds on a daily basis with a yeah. ton of medicines that I was on. 140 units of insulin a day, four or five other medicines that were all jacked up to pretty much the maxes. Uh, and they were mixing other things in too, like, hey, let's try this too, you know. So um, I was feeling pretty hopeless there. And uh, when we started this keto stuff, I would say within a few months, I had gotten rid of almost all of that stuff. Doctors were a little skeptical, but, you know, they were okay with me doing what I, because, well, you know, I wasn't doing well anyway. So, Go ahead and try what you want to try, you know. And, uh, yeah, within weeks I was like, hey, my sugar dropped 300 points. <laughs> you know, I was getting down into the hundreds yeah. versus the 400s. And they're like, you just keep doing it. So I did, and I have. No, I'm not perfect. I, I'm still on some metformin. I thought I got off metformin. And what ended up happening was the sugar started creeping up a little. And uh, when that happened, I noticed because we had just been starting to re- evaluate our ketones and everything yeah. that my ketones were kind of slipping out of ketosis and that stalls me you know right <laughs> so when i would monitor the sugars it's kind of like one of those things where you got to watch a couple things and kind of figure out what's going on with your body yeah, and i and i just reached back out to the doctor and said you know i really want to be off all these 100 percent off of them but i'm kind of feeling like i've just kind of sabotaged myself a little maybe go back on the metformin for a little bit so we reevaluate in February with some blood work, as well as um, we'll reevaluate the metformin and, met and then, unless yeah. the sugars come down more, obviously, then I can talk to them. Yeah. So we're kind of hoping in a week or so here we can do more of a real update where we kind of sit down and talk. I wanted to review some video and have us commentary on it, and I just I just couldn't even bring myself to getting it done. And uh, um, nobody's fault but my own. I'm just sick as a dog, man. We can get there. We're going to get better. Yeah. We're already we're already. We got a little end. voice. So yeah. I, I wasn't even sure we were going to have a voice by Saturday for today. Right. You know, <clears throat> I was telling her, I think Wednesday or Thursday, I'm like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We can't even talk. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I'm just fortunate to be alive, awake, and here. And Absolutely. Yeah. It's going good. But it's been it's been an amazing journey. Um, I think when we do the next one and we're actually looking at the videos, it's crazy when people respond on some of the videos and we go back and we look and it's like, hey. Oh, yeah. I've watched. The difference. <laughs> like week one, we had a week one video. And sometimes when I feel like I'm just not getting there because I'm, you know, not 100 pounds down now, you know, or something. And I go back and I watch some of those and I'm like, wow. I remember those days. I remember I was, that day I was still doing 140 units of insulin. That day I was still doing five pills and they were all maxed, you know, yeah. 2,000 at four days and stuff like that. And, and then I remember where I'm at now and I'm like, you know, I might not be the poster child, but I'm doing darn good for where I'm at and who I am. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm pretty happy with those yeah. things. Hey, uh. We did check our P.O. box, and, and we're going to have, not too far off from now, a nice little, um, like a P.O. box review, because we've gotten quite a few things in the mail, and just with the schedules and the way things have gone, I've, I've messed with them, I've read enough about them, <coughs> uh, and, uh, but I hadn't reviewed them. <clears throat> so I think what we'll do is we'll lay the table out. We'll put four or five things out here yeah. and talk about each one that has come into us because we really appreciate it when people send us something like, "Hey, check this out, Bill and Stace," and you know, yeah. and we do. And, and I've been using um, some of the things that are here. They're right to the side over here, um, but I just haven't sat down and done a review video on these things. So I think what we'll do is we'll lay some stuff out. We'll do a nice little video of that and. Um, 
get some reviews of some things that people have sent us to check out and try. Mm-hmm. So that would be kind of fun, I think. But we and, got a fun thing in the yeah, mail. Yeah, and, and with some of those things that come in the mail that sometimes we don't even know randomly what's coming in the P.O. box. Right. Um, we got a little package from Christy and her family. Uh, okay, Keto. <clears throat> so we got a little Christmas card, and uh, that was really nice. Thank you. And we got some socks. You got socks? Stacy's a sock girl. I'm a, I'm a sock. She steals socks. I think I'm going to steal my socks, too. too. She's going to steal them. I know it. They're going to be okay. for me. His foot's too big, so they'll fit me just perfect. But thank you, Chrissy, for thank sending you. Thank you. We do appreciate it. They're really cool. They're super cute. Penguins. And I got slay all day. Slay all day. <laughs> That's cute. I will do that. So thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah, thanks for sending those over. Well, that was our kind of unmonumental one-year mark. I, I want to do this over when we're not sick. And Me we too. Can go over our numbers. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to edit the heck out of this thing. Yeah. <coughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking in with us. Thank you so much for sticking around with us for a year and putting up with us. And, uh, Hopefully, the next year will be even better for us. Absolutely. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.